this is uh, this is a real treat to have these guys, these legends in the house. These are legends in the house. Okay, and um, I want to make sure that we get as many questions as we can get in for all access pass, so we can find out exactly what's going on with the Commodores. You know, so let's start. Let's start. What's going on, guys? Oh man, we just like always, just very busy. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of touring. Uh, the, the end of the year, we were doing probably 18 to 20 dates a month, which which didn't give us much time. And actually, it wore us out. The the last show that we did it was on uh, December 31st, and um, we had, we had gotten down all the way down to Brick House, and Clyde looked at me and said, <laughs> I, "I got no boys." <laughs> <laughs> looked at me, Jed, he said, "I don't have one either." <laughs> And I said, what? <laughs> 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 so yeah. we took it as far, we really took it as far as we could go that time. You know, I mean, we were worn down. So um, uh, we've just been very, very busy. So, that, so it's true that, that, that vocalists really can, they can lose their voice at, at any time. Huh? Oh, yeah. I let, you know, these are the two main vocalists right here, Clyde, and, and, and uh, this, is, this is Walter Orange. Yeah, you can do that. We call him Clyde. Guys, you have microphones in your seat. You have microphones there in your seat. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And, and J.D. Nicholas. Uh, J.D. Nicholas. J.D., you got a microphone in your, you got a microphone in your seat as well. Oh, I sure He's, um, there you go. Now we got yeah, it. Now yeah, we got yeah, it. Yeah, now we got it. I wonder why they weren't talking. You can lose your voice. <laughs> You can lose, and especially when you're traveling, you're when you're sailing, you know, on on salt water. Right. Your voice go like that. It wow. just sucks it right up. Yeah. You know, I remember we did a thing with Aretha Franklin, and she asked us to turn the air conditioning off. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it was on. off. Off. Oh, yeah. 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 And I thought it yeah. was unreasonable at the time. And then I had a conversation with Smokey, and he said, "Listen, yeah. I would have asked you to turn the air conditioning off as well." Oh, yeah. Because the, the vocal cords yeah. are extremely With important, the and they have to up. stay warm. Right. Yeah, you know? yeah, they need to stay warm. Yeah. So, J.D., what, what, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, yeah, absolutely, because, uh, you know, I, I suffer from the same thing. Uh, when, when it's very cold, you, you're, uh, sorry, when, uh, when it's cold, when we work in, in cold climates, your vocal cords will contract. So, they, you know, they become tight, and it's hard to squeeze notes out if you know what the vocal cords look like. And it's very difficult for to squeeze. It's harder work to squeeze a note out of your throat um, if it's cold. So we're normally drinking hot stuff to lubricate our throats before we go on, especially in, in cold climates. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we, it's not un, un normal for us to 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 request turn the air the air conditioning off. Exactly. We're not trying to be, you know, pick the red M and M's out of the, the the bowl or anything like that. It's just if we want to do this show, we've got to have a couple of things in place to do that. And one of them yeah. is to make yeah. sure the room is. Room temperature. Exactly. And, and even going to and coming from the show, when we get in cars, mm -hmm. you know, we try to keep them at a, a normal temperature so that the vocal cords don't retract but uh, uh, constrict. But um, it, it's hard sometimes. I mean, when we got here, the first thing we got on the bus, it must have been like, I don't know, four degrees on that bus. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, we're a warm climate guy, but, you know, come on. Right, 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 you know, right, right. So, uh, and he didn't understand why we wanted to have, you know. Well, let, let's get down to some real questions here. What What would you say? I mean, and I guess I want to ask that for all three. Some of the fa some of the songs that you've done, and and what what really speaks to your heart when it comes to the songs that the, the Commodores have created. What What songs really speak out to you? Well, uh, I, I think I go first. I guess you know each one of the guys, but um, I think every song we've ever recorded, seriously. And I know that um, you know you have some songs that are um, a bigger hit than the others, um, but you know through the years we recorded album after. I, as I don't even know how many albums we've actually cut, um, but uh, you know you have songs like Three Times with Lady Easy, Close to You, Sweet Love, Night Shift, Lady You Bring Me Up, um, you know, and the list goes on and on. Can we so, give an so, applause for those songs? Those are memorable. Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. And um, uh, and so, but there are so many other songs in there. I, I mean, we actually took the song "Zoom" out of the show for a while because we didn't. We didn't. Okay, okay, don't throw rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a song now. Let's keep this. Okay, you can't you can't make us mad here on the Soul Train Cruise now. It's a big problem if we get mad on the Soul Train Cruise. I'm just saying, right? You know, you know, and night after night after night, people would would. I mean, it was like you know, like like we had slit somebody's throat. You know, we didn't. Uh, they wanted to hear that song, Zoom. 
And uh, so we, I had to tell him that. Uh, actually, it was J.D. who would be singing that song, and he didn't know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen. Please don't. Don't even listen. J.D., is that true? <laughs> no, is that true? no, Tony. We Tony, make it up Tony. as we they go make, along. They make it up as they go along. Not, not Tony. It's, 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 it's only, it's only, only like of it. four or five words in the song. Okay. <laughs> because I'm the new you guy. And everybody has to know it. Hey, <laughs> oh you just leave him on it, he'll just tell you a whole bunch of stuff, wrong, uh, wrong stuff about me. So, but the, the, the music for us is really uh, about all of the songs usually. But there's always one that sticks out. I you know, I think for Clyde, which one for you, you think is? Oh, she's a... <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I was so happy when uh, the Lord blessed me with, the, with, with that idea. And I brought it into the group had no idea that it would do and become our national anthem of the Commodore. Yeah. Yeah. Had no, thank you. Had no I, I, idea. And then, of course, after the departure of Lionel Richie, then he sent us another blessing uh, through me. And I came up with Night Shift. Marvin. Yeah. Uh-oh, stop it, stop it, stop it now, stop it. Thank you. <laughs> so it's been a, it's been you know it's 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 been a journey through through life, but there's nothing else in life I would rather do than be a commodore and the meaning behind it and 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 and, and the the rules and regulations that we put on ourselves. If you want to stay in this group and be in this group, it's no drugs, none of that. Never has been. No. If you want to get excommunicated really quick. Let us catch you. Uh, let us even think that you're, you know, now you're going you're gonna to pay one way or, or another. Either buy or <laughs> chain, chain. <laughs> you pay up for it. And you don't think you want to chain, chain. <laughs> okay. So that's how we keep it clean, folks. What about you? And the band and, and, uh, and, and our musicians. Yeah. We are so blessed to have those guys, not one of them. Never have. They, that's that's a, that's a blessing. Yeah. Daddy, what about you? What what song uh, mm. kind of? Um, well, I'm like Clyde. <clears throat> I'm blessed to be to be um, one of the Commodores, and I can't I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. It's a it was a dream come true for me when they invited me into the group some 33 years ago now. So um, mm -hmm. that's um, yeah. Wow. Wow. And um, I don't know all the songs. I was a fan of the group before I, I joined um, joined them. So, so but some of my favorites are like Easy. I enjoy singing singing Easy, um, Night Shift, the second verse. Clyde, <laughs> Clyde gets there. He graciously, when he wrote it, gave me the second verse. Yeah. And uh, you know, I enjoy singing that. I enjoy, I just enjoy the Commodore show. I enjoy being a part of it. When we hit the stage. I enjoy it just as much yeah. as I, I hope, yeah. we hope, that the audience enjoys it. Yeah. So that's, that's the kick I get out of it. And thank you Absolutely. for that. Thank you so much. Um, William, real quick, what, what, um, when it comes to music in the 70s and the 80s, and now we're now in 2016, has, has things changed a lot, you know, in, in, in that? They, uh, they changed department? totally. <laughs> not not yeah. a lot. Um, you know, when we came along, it was more of a... Um, individual, when I say individual, more of a, how that artist performed. It was about how and what you had to give. It was about your tone. It was about your texture. It was about how you treated a song. Um, and I heard one of the gentlemen, we did an interview earlier today, uh, one of the gentlemen on, on it said that, uh, um, that, you know, when, when Aretha Franklin sung a song, you could you could get Aretha and you could you could get Shaka Khan you, you could get you know a lot of the ladies back there give them the exact same song to sing, and when they would start singing you would know which one of them was singing, okay and God knows with Aretha it's no you know you know hello right, um, but today um, you know if you got four or five girls to sing you wouldn't know which was which, um, and, and it's a lot to do with the fact that. That they don't have their own texture, their own tone, because they use so much uh, technical work on their voices. Yeah. You know, uh, I was saying earlier, I mean, one of the artists was saying earlier today about they went into the studio recording, the guy said, just take it down one time, I'll fix it. Wow, wow. You know, and, um, and that's true, you know, they, they have things wow. that can, can 
put you in tune yeah, if you're tune, out of yeah, tune. Yeah. yeah, they can tune you up. Or yeah, yeah, they can add yeah. stuff to you, make your voice sound a lot different or whatever. But we didn't have any of that when we were coming along. Man, you had to go out oh, there. Oh, I wish. <laughs> and yeah, you know, as, as, as I heard the girl say the other day, you had to go out there and sing. <laughs> well, you know, that reminds yeah. me. That reminds yeah. me. We're, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back with All Access Pass. You, know, you guys are going to see a show tonight with these guys, okay? And I want everybody to be there. You push away from the plates and the sweets that we have up there for you and, you know, the sleep. We, we're going to see these guys tonight. They're going to do, they're going to give us what we, what we ask for. They really are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be just as many sweets on, on that stage as yeah. that were up on the outside, you know. We, yeah. We're going to have a good time. Just we're if really I can do. stay on that stage. Yeah. <laughs> you see, the truth. <laughs> Vertigo, folks. Anybody ever had it? Gee whiz, oh, we all have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Do without that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, oh, we yeah. really are looking forward to tonight. You know, it's one of those things where uh, it, it is what we are. This is what we do. Yeah. You know, and it was like J.D. was saying earlier, you know, he looks, he looks forward to doing the entire show. It's not just about one song. It's not about two songs. It's about the show. And uh, when we get started up there, you know, it's almost like we don't want to leave. You know, we just want to perform. And that's, and that's because we've been doing this for 50 years almost. This is our 49th year counting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like uh, J.D. said, he's been with us for 33 years, and, and Walt and I have been there since the beginning. And we have been through all the scuffling of, you know, trying to get to a gig with no transportation, you know, not having instruments. Yeah, trying to thumb there with the guitar on your back. I mean, seriously, I mean, you'd be amazed at um, the, the things. We used to drive this van. Uh, and we finally got a van, okay? And you know what your first van, what car would look like, right? <laughs> you know, it's, when you, just, you just had to get one, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. So, we had, and, and it didn't come with a spare. <laughs> so, we had four tires on it that was as slick as this floor right here. And we called them Maypops. Yeah. Because they may pop at any time. <laughs> and, and they, they did. did. <laughs> and they did. Oh so we used to divide up into threes because it was six of us in the original. And so three would push it down the road to get it fixed. And then when they brought it back, three inside that, that would left, they would have to put the tie on. Okay, wow. so you know when you got a routine, you know you blew a lot of tires because you had a routine to put them back on. So, um, but you know those were those were great days. I wouldn't change them for anything. Now we were talking about before we before we went on a, on to a break, we were talking about the technology yes. and what has changed. Um, would anybody like to comment on uh, good, bad, or indifferent when it comes to that? I mean, I, I know artists of today are like very excited about what we call music in a box. You hit one button, you get the bass line. You hit one button, you get the guitar line. I mean, what, what, what well, kind of comments do you have? We, we, we were and still are the button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Oh, how I prayed, dear Lord, I wish that, I wish that. It, and James Carmichael, our producer, say, Brother Clyde, you got to do it yourself. You'd be looking away. I'm like, come on. We can get some of the people from, they would never know it's not, no, Brother Glad. It's the, it's the texture. Right. The people will, they, they're going to get to know your sound. I had no idea, you know, that, that the group of us, that we had a sound, other than the instruments that we played. I was the drummer. He, he played uh, a trumpet. And Richie was a saxophone player. And Thomas See, they didn't McClure. know Richie played saxophone. So what? They didn't know Richard played saxophone. You didn't know? Yeah. One of the most beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. When he put his, oh my goodness, Richie. You saw, you only, you, you only know him by the out front and, 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 and playing keyboards today, right? No. Saxophone. Beautiful. Wow. So what now? She's like in church with her. Uh, every once in a while, every, every once in a while, basically, uh, my contact uh, through Richie is uh, the bass player, Ronald LaPrea, that uh, left the group many years ago, and he lives in New Zealand, but he comes back, back and forth, and he lives, you know, he comes to Tuskegee, of course, I live in Florida, 
but he'll come to Tuskegee and he ha also has a, 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 a house in Beverly Hills. So he'll go by and see Lionel Richie, so he tells me. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 they, and, and, they, and they hang out. Really miss, the, really miss the guys because we were, we are a group as we were coming up, just full of jokes. We just had fun running the girls, girls running us. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We, we, we didn't get any places, though. We just <laughs> running them. We never run, run, running behind them. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but, that lightning bolt but these is two strong. <laughs> <laughs> that lightning cut, bolt. Cut, cut. You know, that, that, you that know. brings up a point that I'm sure everybody here wants to know. When, they talk, when you talk about, you know, Lionel Richie and yeah. he's moved on and how that, all, how that happened and... Yeah. How you guys felt about moving on as the, as the Commodores? And it was tough. Um, I hated it. It, it, it was it was really tough. I mean, it, it, you know you, you know you know when something is wrong. You know what I mean? When, when things aren't the same. You know, I mean, all of you have family members, and you walk in a room, and you know it's it's like you know, let's, let's face the elephant. You know what I mean? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Um, you, you just get that feeling that things aren't quite right, and um, and you can remain a group. Um, as long as everybody has the same goals, okay? Uh, once one person in there changes his goals, then you got friction, okay? You got friction, and, uh, and Richie changed his goals. And so, um, you know, and it took a while for it to get to the point where he, he actually uh, was no longer a Commodore, but uh, we all knew it. We knew it was coming, and that was a good thing because you prepare for it, um, and uh, we prepared. Uh, well, I think for it, and um, you know, we finally got to the point where uh, he left, and we had set up a tour to go to Europe, and so we went to Europe, and it gave us a chance to kind of get away, uh, reestablish ourselves. Now, most people thought the group was going to fold um, because Richie was uh, the, 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 the the person out front, and, the, and he had a bunch of beautiful songs, three times a lady, easy to sail on. And uh, those songs were incredible. Um, still are. And still are. <laughs> yeah. um, and, you know, and we were all a part of those songs. I mean, we arranged those songs. And we, um, but, you know, it was a time for us of really looking deep inside of ourselves and deciding, you know, that we were going to continue on. Now, I will say this, that that wasn't uh, a moment for most of the guys ever thinking that we were not going to continue on. Okay. Because... We didn't look at it like most people did. You know, we looked at it like it was six of us started out, we were enjoying ourselves, and somebody decided he was going to leave. Okay? Uh, because we always knew that, and, and most of the songs were actually sung by Walter here. But the, the three songs that were the huge hits yeah. at that time were by Richie. Yeah. So he was the one that people saw on the TV all the time, or they saw in the video all the time, and, 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 and on and on and on. Um, but... You know, there were songs being sung by other members of the group, and the groups were writing all of the songs. There were other songs that were written um, that were hits for us as well. So we knew we, 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 we could do it, and so we just never really even thought about it. It was the press who... Yeah, they always go for the, that lead vocalist, whoever the lead vocalist yeah. is. Well, hey. It was the press. Uh oh, J.D. Oh, 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 J.D. Yeah. Okay, no, hey, okay. Look, I was, you know... I told the guy, I'm glad Richie left, because, you know, I didn't <laughs> 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 hey, You know. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we're going we're gonna to pick up a little more of that on the, on the way back, okay? We'll be right back with All Access Pass. Just keeping it real. We're here with the Commodores, William, Walter, Walter. and J.D. Oh, yeah. Um. You know, before the break, we were talking about, uh, you know, artists leaving groups and things of that nature and how you guys felt. And what, I, what I'd like to say is I just feel wonderful that you guys were able to pick up where you left off. You oh, know? Yeah. oh, yeah. I mean, isn't it wonderful that the Commodores are still with us? And uh, it, it's just very interesting about some of the things that you guys talk about when it comes to, yeah. you know, moving forward. Yeah, it's, it's all about, like I said, having the same goals. As long as you can maintain that, you, you, you can last forever. And actually, I thought the six of us at the time would all die together, you know? Right. I mean, you know, um, I, I know it's kind of get on the morbid side, but I'm just saying, you know, we were like 120 years old. I thought we would all, you know. Uh, uh, but, you know, things change. Uh, people's lives change. 
And I, I was not angry, uh, really angry. Well, I wasn't pissed off about the fact that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that Richie was leaving. Uh, it was upsetting. Uh, because I, you know, I thought that we would, like I said, like I said, it would be together for a very, very long time. We were together about 17, 18 years as as the six of us, and so it was very disheartening to realize that one of the brothers um, decided that he wanted to be on his own. But you know what? That was his decision to make, and uh, and then we had a decision to make, and uh, so I, you know, and and even now. Um, uh, people ask me, you know, of course, like, how do you feel about that? And I, I, I regret it. I, I wish that we be, we were able to continue as we were, because that was love. That was love in a bowl. I got to tell you. Um, and we had some knuckleheads in the group, um, but you know, you got knuckleheads everywhere. Right. Wow. And so, wow. you know, we we were able to get past a lot of stuff. So. But, you know, uh, another thing I wanted to ask you guys is some of your influences. Do you guys have influences as, as artists, as Commodores? I mean, I know people are influenced by the Commodores, but do the Commodores, are they influenced by artists? New artists, old artists? I mean, are there, is there any particular vocalist that uh, you find interesting? You know, Tony, I, I think I'm sure each of us have a, a favorite artist that we really admire and, and look up to. and and uh, are influenced by, I mean, you know, I mean, there's too many for me to mention. Um, when I was growing up in England um, as a teenager, well, I was born and raised in England, and and, uh, and the music I came up on was the Motown sound, and that was because we didn't have an R&B bass of any yeah. type in, in, in England, or in Europe for that matter back then. So I, 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 got a, I grew up with the likes of Stevie Wonder, um, Marvin Gaye, you know, Right from the very early, early stages of Motown, and uh, they were my and, and and even though they're not but well, Stevie's here, obviously, but you know the likes of Marvin Gaye heavily influenced me. And when when I decided, I think when I was around ten, uh, that I decided I wanted to be a musician of some sort. I, I, I always wanted to be a vocalist, and, and that's why I admired most of my influences. Are, are great singers. Um, even like to Johnny Mathis because I think he's one of the most amazing wow. technical t technicians. He knows how to use his pipes yeah. um, and make them work for him. But um, yeah, um, I don't have any great current favorites. I'm not talking about Prince or Michael Jackson, the obvious ones who, who I love, we all love. But uh, I'm, I'm old school. And so I go back to the likes of Stevie Wonder and Marvin Gaye and, you know, and, 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 and Tammy Terrell. You know, males and females, uh, obviously Aretha Fra Franklin. So, um, yeah, they still influence me, and uh, I'm sure William and Clyde um, can expound on, on that. And of course, you guys were influences on me. Of course, oh, you were. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, we were. You know, while we're throwing names around, I'm going to How about you? How about you, Walter? Who, who, who influenced you? I was crazy, still crazy about Mr. James Brown. <laughs> Mr. James Brown was like. Oh my goodness, he could do no wrong, you know. He could do no wrong, as much wrong as he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his dancing and, 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 and I got a chance to meet him. I got a chance to meet him a, a, a number of times. And, uh, but it really floored me the very first time that I met him. Um, I was at Alabama State College, <clears throat> which is in Montgomery, Alabama. I was attending college there. And I was leaving the girls' dormitory. Don't ask me what. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaving Bill Gray's girls' dormitory. And, and, and as I was walking out the dorm, coming to the curve, right down here, here comes these two limousines. Now, we know James was playing that night on, on campus. Uh -huh. And he rolled up. He rolled up, and, and there I'm standing. And he rolled down. He rolled down the window. He said, yeah, can you tell me where the gig is tonight? I say the what? <laughs> well, where are we performing? I say, oh, right around, right. I live right next door, which I live right next door to where he was playing, right on ca on campus. And <clears throat> as we were riding, I say, um, is Obi Williams still playing drums for you? He said, you know Obi? I say, yes. I was my drum section leader in high school. He taught me. He said, oh wow. Get in. Come on, let's go. Let's, right. let's go. And I met, and I met over. He, he was my very, it was, it was what he was doing and how he was doing it. 
and the discipline in his band. If you didn't have that discipline, boop, you out. Good day. And uh, I see that the same thing stands true for the Commodores today. We have discipline in here. And we are so blessed not to have anyone in this organization. No, no drugs. None. Zero. You know, that's a blessing within itself. We love each other. And we really do love each other in this group. If, 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 if you was a fly on the wall or, and you just watch us when we're traveling together, it's just one big joke after the next joke after this joke and after that joke and somebody laughing and da 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 that's what keeps us together. That's brotherly love. How about you, William? You know, I'm kind of like J.D. I, I've had so many influences uh, coming up um, through the years. Uh, but, you know, on, on top of that pile, though, is uh, there are a couple. But, you know, Sammy Davis Jr. Um, oh, yeah. uh, because yeah. it, uh, of many reasons. Um, first of all, he, he could do anything. Anything. Sing, dance, flip, you know, act. You know, and he was the top. Uh, of, of whatever he did, he he was he was the top, but it was also what he had to go through, mm -hmm. you know, during that era, you know, and, and that and that was early late fifties, early sixties, you know, when when uh, you know you you could play at a place, but you couldn't walk through the front door, yeah, you know, um, but still walk through and get on that stage and perform like that, you know, without a frown, without you know, of course your heart was breaking, but you know. Um, and, and I just think that when you have to go through that much, um, and then you are the best of the best. I mean, you know what? He wasn't part of that rat pack because they felt sorry for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Frank Sinatra said, this is the most talented man I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want him with me. Okay. So uh, for me, it, it, was, it was Sammy Davis Jr. But there were a lot. You know, I, Miles Davis, uh, I love because I'm a trumpet player. <laughs> Uh, and I, I came up loving Miles until I actually went to see him. <laughs> He's a different kind of man. He's a diff he was a different kind of person. Uh, I, I'll leave it at that. Um, and I, I realized, you know what, uh, talent um, sometimes is, um, you know, exceeds um, personalities. Mm -hmm. And um, he... he <laughs> He was different on that stage. But having said that, there were th th those, uh, and even today I have a, a, some people today uh, that I think, um, uh, 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 beyond, I mean, like Beyonce is in incredible. I see. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and, and I'm thankful for her, for more than just her, her singing, because it, uh, to be honest with you, uh, she's not one of my favorite voices uh, of all time. I mean, like Aretha, come on. You know, um, but I, I think what she's done in the industry Oh, yeah. And what she's done to help a lot of uh, upcoming artists, which a lot of you people don't know, uh, how involved she is in, in, in helping out in the community. Right. Um, it's kind of like like like, like um, Michael Jackson did. You know, Michael Jackson built hospitals. Uh, he 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 put and like, these are all for children. He put uh, the equipment in hospitals, uh, which a lot of people don't 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 realize uh, what he was doing. Uh, we went to his ranch to Michael's ranch one time up, up in. Uh, California, and um, he had a movie theater there that was built just like a regular movie theater that you would actually go to. And then when you walked in, the back section was a hospital wing in the movie theater. And he had these beds in there where the kids, they'd bring the kids and they could sit up with their IV units and all and view all the, up, the, the new movies that were coming out. And that was another way of him giving back. So... You know, artists sometimes, uh, uh, we, we, we look at them for what they give us as an artist, the singing, the dancing, the flipping, I call it. But, you know, some people have great hearts, and some people give back. And those are the people that I like to look at because there's so much going on in this world that, that needs help. And some of these people, like, like I said, Beyonce and Michael, they give back, and that's why I, I look at them a that's lot. That's wonderful. Um, we're going to wrap this up soon, but I'd like to. Uh, there's a particular question I want to ask all three of you, and, and, and that is what is it like to be a Commodore? <laughs> Gentlemen, well, it's easy for me. It is for me. I can get, I can get up to touch the head and wrap that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is so wonderful. I, I, look, first of all, I get to make a living. And a good living. 
He just crossed his legs. Yeah, so I'm ready. I'm ready to lean back. To really get comfortable I, here. I get now. to make He's... a good living <laughs> singing and dancing and being with people that I enjoy being with. Okay, I don't know if you, I'm sure some of you know what that is. But, you know, I don't wake up every morning going, oh my God, I got to call JD. Now, he may feel that way about me. <laughs> 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 he may feel that way about me, but I know that I've got people with sound minds, okay, around me, and they are wonderful people, and they're going to do the right thing. You know, they, they, we, we do have disagreements, like everybody else, of course, and, and we argue, and, uh, and, and, and we, have, we don't have many screaming matches. Um, you know, that doesn't happen a lot, but it, it, it is a fact that I know that there's whatever they say and I disagree with is from their heart. You know, they're not just saying it to disagree with me. Uh, they're not saying because they're pissed off with me or angry or whatever the word you want to use. But it's what they believe in. So I know that when I, I'm trying to convince them of something, I've got to find out what their belief is. And then I have to destroy that. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then I can go in and go after me. See what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's because I'm out here and I get to travel all over the world. I get to get on ships and sit. Well, not this one. <laughs> but I, I get. To, <laughs> most of the time, I get to get on ships and sail across. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> he just had a malfunction. That's all. Yeah, I was I was so much thinking of just going off, you know, getting out on the, my little patio out there and when traveling down the ocean side. You know, <laughs> and every day I see the same thing. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I see the same thing. You know what? I could have done that at home, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well listen, on that note, you know. <laughs> We're going we gonna to wrap this up because the Commodore's got a whole lot of work to do tonight. Okay, so let's give the Commodore's a round of applause, and this is Act All Access Pass. <laughs>